a 400 gallon grow bag. I'm trying to decide if I want it right here or not. I think I do. Let's go ahead and take one of these bags of leaves and just get in the middle. This bag is pretty old. This is fall time that I did this. I'm putting leaves down to try to fill up some of this area. That's a lot of room. And the leaves will break down and be good for the grow back in uh, the soil. get it to where I can stretch it out better. There's a lot of volume in this and I can't afford to fill all this with compost. You have to love when the wind decides to just start blowing right in. All right, let's see what this does. Need to get this all in. Another good thing is all this leaves will hold in moisture and hopefully it'll wick up into the uh, soil from down below. I won't have to water it quite as much. What I'm gonna plant here hopefully is my corn so they don't have like super, super deep root systems for what I understand. I think I'll do the other bag too. This is about uh, six inches worth of leaves down. Now all I need to do is put a good bit of compost on top of this. I may steal some from one of my raised beds that I'm not gonna use this year. Um, this is where I wanna grow my corn at. It's huge, so it should be able to handle a pretty good amount going around in a circle, hopefully. All right, that took a minute. I had to go get the uh, compost that I'm doing. It's not fully done, but I don't have much choice. Uh. Ooh, snake. Alright, well I dumped a whole bucket of uh, compost. Apparently I had quite a few snakes in that. That was fun. Alright, we're heading to go get some compost. Be able to put it in today, but we'll see. Here we go. All I'm going to be doing is adding some soil to this and then planting some corn. This is going to be my corn bed. Cornbread, cornbread. Corn, you know what I mean. Let's see all the weeds out of it. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's take some of this. Nursery. Pretty nice compost. I can't make enough for everything I need to do, so it's always nice to have a local nursery that makes their own. I don't know if I'll 
fill this completely up or not yet. I definitely like staying out of pool directly into my garden now. It's so much easier than dumping it into something and wheeling it around. Some of the places I might have to do that still. The bottom of this has a ton of leaves and then my homemade compost, which is mostly goat manure and leaves. Some grass clippings and stuff like that. This is almost cheating, having my truck pulled all the way through here. You okay, boy? We won't be out here too terribly long, okay? I can take a doggy break. I can take a doggy break. <laughs> You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You about to have a doggy heat stroke? Why don't you go find the shade, sweetie? Huh? You don't need to be right here in front of me. There's, there's really not any shade. Let's push you out of this. You know it's hot when I change the water. Now uh, that's a full bag. Now to plant seeds. Well, I'm not sure if that recorded or not. I put a stake in the middle and wrapped a string around it and then I went around and around and around and around and around and around until I got this design. Then I put seeds in it. Now I'm gonna put compost over top of it loosely and then I have to fix my water hose it broke. I'm sure that wind's getting kind of annoying. All right, just cover this lightly. Just cover it lightly. more I need to figure out how to turn off the high temp off on my camera that's a cool rock that is I never grown corn in a grow bag this is a not your normal size grow bag either This one is insanely huge, to me at least. All right, I think I covered them all. I might need a little bit more right there. Anyway, I need to water this in before it rains real hard, I don't know it's supposed to rain maybe tomorrow um, 
and then it looks like the whole week is going to be a chance of rain. So I need to get it watered in before a lot of crazy rain comes and washes them all out. It's going to be a little harder to do, but it could definitely get them out of place. Well, we shall see what it looks like right now. All right, this is the corn bed, the corn bed, corn bed that I planted on, I believe it was June 26th. This is July 10th. It's starting to grow pretty good. They're getting pretty tall. I know that I got them pretty close together, but this grow bed, uh, this, uh, this container is just full of compost and tons of nitrogen, so I don't think it's going to have too bad of effects. Um, some of them may get shaded out from the others. I planted them kind of in a circle like this, like a conch shell type thing. And this was the end one, I believe, of the circle. And it's doing pretty good. I used that stick over there and that piece of string and another stick and just went around and around and around. Um, you can kind of see the rows. But I think this will work out good. I don't know if I have enough time for it to really grow enough and produce corn and if I can keep the goats out long enough to actually get the ears. But it's worth a shot. So we'll see what's going on. And corn loves nitrogen because that's all what these leaves are. Oh my god. A little bit of a weed. Hey. There you go. That's one nice thing about this. They're really, really tall. That's like 18 inches or more. Maybe two foot. I think it may be two foot the beds are. So that's going to keep out bunny rabbits and stuff to some degree. Here's the corn. Starting to form some corns on it. I kind of thought I was too late in the season, but they're getting pretty good size now. I feel some corn sexually, like the kernels. These things got pretty tall too. Um, they got kind of blown over a couple of times by the, some strong storms that we had, but they're probably about four, four and a half feet tall. That one's a pretty good size. I definitely feel some. Yeah, that one feels pretty good. So I think I'll actually get some corn out of this as long as the goats don't get in this. That's still a big if. Well, I think the corn is done for the year. Come here. Here's a purring mantis hanging out, keeping my corn safe. All right. Got here. Let's see what it did. Yeah. There's definitely some usable corn if we cut this part off. We got damage. But... got dried out uh, to some degree because I didn't get out here to water it as much as I needed to. Got some ants in it. <laughs> All you do to harvest it, of course this is kind of further gone than I would have wanted. You just kind of twist and pull, and it comes off. We'll have to eat this pretty quick, probably tomorrow. You want to have corn tomorrow? Yeah.
they kind of got knocked down by wind. I need to probably find a way to keep them upright better. Probably put some wire around them next year. Let's see about this one. There's fire ants all in it. It's actually not too bad. Eh. I think this one may be bad. This one is kind of dried up a little bit. You want? A lot of this may get fed to the goats. Have to see if any of it's edible. Oh, that's a pretty good set one. Ooh, yeah, that one's bad. <clears throat> Yeah, they started growing some down here. They probably would have gotten a lot bigger, but it was kind of late in the season when I did it. Baby corn. <laughs> and I need to do something about the fire ant problem that I have before I grow it next year. But I do like growing it this way. I probably will put a lot less corn in it next year, but I just wanted to see how much I could fit in it and actually grow pretty well. baby girl. <laughs> All right, well, that's a lot of corn in a small space. It would have done a lot better if I started it in the spring, but I started it like in the middle of summer, so it had a hard time starting. But I'll know next year to start earlier, and I'll try to keep the ants out of the bed so the corn will not get attacked by it like it did this year. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, like, and share if you would, and subscribe if you haven't. Y'all have a good one. Bye. I'll be right there. All right, love you, bye. All right, well, food's done.